The theremin is an electronic musical instrument. It was invented in 1919 by a Russian physicist, Leon Theremin. Besides its unusual appearance, the theremin is also unique in that it's played without being touched. The theremin typically consists of a box with two metal antennas which create an electromagnetic field. The musician stands in front of the instrument and moves his hands in the proximity of the two antennas, which forms a capacitor between his hands and the antennas. The capacitance of the electromagnetic field varies by the distance between the player and the instrument. The upright antenna controls the pitch. When the right hand approaches the antenna, the pitch gets higher. When the hand moves away from it, the pitch gets lower again. Small rapid movements of the right hand can create vibrato. The loop antenna controls the volume. Approaching the antenna makes the volume softer, so the left hand is responsible for dynamics and articulation. There is no physical contact with the instrument. Playing the theremin in a precise, melodic way requires much practice. Pitch control is especially challenging, as there's no guidance, no keys or fingerboard positions. The player has to rely on his ear, and he can only correct a pitch when it is audible. Skilled players who control the combination of movements precisely can achieve complex and expressive performances. Hi, my name is Morgan and today I'm going to show you how to play the theremin. The theremin is a type of electronic instrument, it's actually one of the oldest in the world. It was invented in 1919 by a Russian scientist named Leon Theremin and he brought it to the States where they started using it for music and horror movies and sci-fi movies. Essentially the theremin works with radio frequencies. So the two antennas, the pitch antenna which just goes in here, and the volume antenna. So whenever you use the theremin, you have to calibrate it to the room you're in because everything in each room will always be different. So to start to calibrate the theremin, we're going to want to turn it on. You can hear the different sounds it makes when you use the pitch antenna. And this is the volume antenna. So to calibrate the theremin, you're going to want to press and hold setup and then we're going to hit it again and you want to be four feet away from anything that might be metal so right now I'm on a wood table that hardly has any metal in it at all you can also put the theremin on a microphone stand or a tripod so to do the calibration it'll give you directions on screen so we're going to move four feet away from the theremin Next, we're going to hold our hand near the pitch antenna. And we're going to hold our hand far from the pitch antenna. Now we're going to hold our hand near the volume antenna. This will be the quietest point. And then far. There, your theremin is calibrated. To make playing the theremin easier for the first time, you're going to want to set a note range that's small enough so you don't have to move your fingers a whole bunch to get all the notes. To set the note range, you're going to want to hit setup till you hit the note range page. And from here, you'll probably want to stick with the C scale. So you'll want to have maybe four or five octaves so you can start with C2 for your low and C6. So the finger techniques that are usually used for the theremin were developed by Clara Rockmore, who is widely regarded as one of the best thereminists in the world. So how she does it is she starts with tiny finger movements. She'll so have her hand like this, and you'll slowly move your fingers out till they're fully extended. And this usually gets you to go up by one note at a time. So 
it's important to remember that anytime you move, the sound of the theremin can change as well. So once you start practicing with your finger movements, then you could start working with the volume as well. It's very hard to do it together, so don't get discouraged if you can't get it right off the bat.